Jonathan Rogley, thank you for five Swiss francs. Is it possible to convert the SBUS pad into UART for OSD? In short, no. Um, especially because you need a TX pad. Now, you can remap a. Let's say you've got a situation where you've got a UART TX pad that's being used for something, and the RX is free. Okay, so, like uh, I don't know when when you're using TX for Ghost or Spectrum SRXL2, and the RX is free for that same UART. You could remap the RX to Soft Serial TX. I'm 99% sure that that would work. And then you would need another pad to remap to Soft Serial RX, and then you would have another UART available, a Soft Serial UART. Um, that's not going to work with an SBUS pad, though. So if you say that you've got an SBUS pad, what that tells me is that you've got an F4 flight controller. Because F7 flight controllers don't have SBUS pads, they just have UARTs. And any UART on an F7 flight controller can be used for just about any function. But on an F4 flight controller, the UARTs don't support a function called inversion. And SBUS requires inversion. So the way that F4 flight controllers deal with this is that the designer of the flight controller will have a, a pad, the SBUS pad, and the signal from that pad will be routed to an inverter, which is a separate discrete component that inverts the signal. And then that inverted signal will be fed to the UART, and that will allow you to use SBUS on that flight controller. But it only works with the SBUS pad, and it only works for signals that have to be inverted. Theoretically, theoretically, you could buy an inverter and solder that inverter in line with the signal wire. And what that'll do is it'll invert the signal and then the SBUS inverter will invert it again and you'll get a non-inverted signal coming in to the UART as expected, Most, but that still won't turn the RX into a TX. Uh, and probably that's just too much trouble and you wouldn't go that direction.